Hi guys, welcome you all to my channel Explore Edu to T. So the next topic that we'll be dealing in digital electronics is going to be the codes in digital system, wherein we'll be talking about the BCD code, the XS3 code, and the GRE code. So the gate problem is going to be solved on it. So you have to understand this concept very well. So digital electronics basically deals with the codes in digital system wherein we'll be talking about various codes uh, starting from the BCD code to XS3 code to GRE code. Okay. And a gate problem is solved on it so that you can apply the theory that we are learning onto a numerical as well. I hope I'm very clear. Also, if you like this lecture, do not forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram. The links are given down in the description box and share it to as many people as you can feel uh, can get benefited out of it. So thank you so much. Uh, let's begin up with this topic. So basically before beginning with codes, you should understand what do you understand by a code. So code when numbers, letters, words are represented in the form of symbols, it is said to be encoded and a group of symbols is called as a code. I hope I'm very clear. So when there are numbers, words uh, represented in the form of symbols and they are encoded, the group of those symbols is called as code. There are different kind of code as I mentioned, that is the BCD code, XS3 code, GRE code. In all these kind of codes, the numbers, letters and words are encoded in the form of some symbols. And this symbol is said to be as code. So basically there are two kind of code. One is the weighted code. The other one is the non-weighted code. So the weighted code, each digit is assigned a specific weight according to its position. So basically uh, the broad classification of a code. And what do you mean by a code? A code is something in which numbers, letters, words are represented in the form of symbols. And these symbols is said to be as code. So basically these codes are divided into the weighted code and the non-weighted code. So in case of your weighted code, each digit is assigned a specific weight. Hence it is called as a BCD code. And what do you mean by non-weighted code? In case of your non-weighted code, there is no specific weight assigned to each digit. Hence it is said to be as a non-weighted code. The examples are XS3 code and the GRE code. So to just summarize, our code is basically a representation of different letters, symbol, words in the form of symbols and this symbol is said to be as code. The codes are divided into the weighted code and the non-weighted code. The weighted code is the, pro is the code in which each digit is being assigned to a specific weight. The non-weighted code is a code in which each digit is not being assigned to a particular weight. So BCD code is an example of weighted code. XS3 code and the GRE code is an example of non-weighted code. Basically, you have first code as the BCD code. So the BCD is basically the binary coded decimal. So BCD code remains to convert means to convert the decimal numbers into the binary equivalent. Each encoding is done in the form of four bit. That means BCD code as an name suggests is binary coded decimal. Okay, so you have the decimal value over here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Each of this decimal code has to be converted into its binary. And the binary is going to be given in the form of 4 bits. So there are nine dig uh, 10 digits in case of your uh, decimal, right? 0 to 9. And each digit is being converted into its binary equivalent in the form of 4 bits. I hope I'm very clear. So BCD code is basically a binary coded decimal wherein each binary is coded in the form of decimal. Uh, each decimal basically is being coded in the form of binary that too in the form of 4 bits. Now the XS3 code is so if you see over here this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9 is all written in the form of its binary but in the form of 4 bits. 
the xs3 code is basically a bcd code plus 3 okay so what is going to happen is that the xs3 code of a decimal number is formed by adding 3 to each decimal digit and then encoding the decimal digit in the form of 4 bits so i just remember that you have a bcd code in which you are going to represent each digit in the form of binary in the form of 4 bits whereas in case of xs3 code we have bcd code plus 3 that is the bcd code is going to be written and plus 3 is going to be the xs3 code for it so i hope i'm very clear hence we have digits going from 0 to 9 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the BCD code for these digits is the binary equivalent of this decimal digit in which we are going to have 4 bits. And the XS3 code is basically the BCD code plus 3. So, it's just going to be like uh, 0 plus 3 is 3 hence we have 3 in binary 1 plus 3 is 4 hence we have 4 in binary 2 plus 3 is 5 hence we have 5 in binary 3 plus 3 is 6 hence we have 6 in binary hence my xs3 code is nothing else than by bcd code plus 3 so whenever you have a decimal digit given to you convert into its binary and add 3 to that um, and represent in the form of four bits i hope i'm very clear with this then we have the gray code <coughs> so in gray code is an example of code in which the binary system in which two successive bits differed by one so what i want to say is that i'll tell you later how to find out the gray code for a binary number but if you look over here what happens in case of your binary gray code See, 0 to 9 is the digital is the decimal value and the gray code is over here. So what happens in every gray code is every other gray code differs by its previous gray code by just one bit. I hope I'm very clear to you. Every other gray code differs from its previous gray code by just one bit. So if you see this is 0. This is 0001, then we have 0011. That is, I'll tell you how the digital 2 gray code is 0011. But to make you understand the pattern of gray code, every gray code, every next gray code is going to differ from its previous gray code by just one bit. So if you see over here, you have 0000, then you have 0001, then you have 0011. So here it was 0, then it got 1. Here it was 0, then it got 1. This 1 became 0 and all other bits remain the same. Hence, in case of your grey code, every grey code is going to differ from its previous grey code by just one bit. Okay. Now, how to change a grey code to a binary and binary to grey code? So, what will happen is that whenever a decimal digit is given to you, convert into its binary coded decimal in the form of 4 bits. Then you have XS3 code in which you have the BCD code plus 3. In which you have digits from 0 to 9. The corresponding BCD code is this. Plus 3 is my XS3 code. Then you have the grey code. In case of your grey code, you have the decimal value. You have the corresponding binary value. And this binary value, you will get gray code. So, how do you find the gray code? I will tell you. See, so you have this values given over here, which you have 0, 1, 0, 0, which is a binary. You have to convert to gray code. So, how do you find out? The MSB bit, that is G3, will be equal to B3 is equal to 0. Your G2 is equal to B3 XOR B2, that is 0 XOR 1 is 1. Your G1 is equal to B2 XOR B1, 1 XOR 0 is 1. And your G0 is equal to B1 XOR B0, that is 0 XOR 0 is equal to 0. Hence, we have the final answer as 0110. I hope I am very clear. 
सो वेन आई टॉक अबाउट कन्वर्टिंग अ ग्रे कोड टू बाइनरी कोड और अ बाइनरी कोड टू अ ग्रे कोड यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट एवर इज द डेसिमल डिजिट गिवन टू यू कन्वर्ट इन टू इट्स बाइनरी एंड फॉर बाइनरी टू बी कन्वर्टेड टू ग्रे कोड यू हैव दिस फॉर्मूला इन विच यू हैव जी थ्री इज इक्वल टू बी थ्री जी टू इज इक्वल टू बी थ्री एक्स और बी टू जी वन इज इक्वल टू बी टू एक्स और बी वन एंड यू जी जीरो इज इक्वल टू बी वन एक्स और बी जीरो जस्ट ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट दंसर दिस इज माई फाइनल ग्रे कोड वैल्यू आई होप आई एम वेरी क्लियर नेक्स्ट वी हैव द ग्रे कोड न हाउ टू कन्वर्ट माई ग्रे कोड टू बाइनरी वी लर्न हाउ टू कन्वर्ट द बाइनरी टू ग्रे कोड बट हाउ टू कन्वर्ट ग्रे टू बाइनरी वी हैव अनदर एग्जाम्पल so you have the value 0 1 1 0 in gray code convert to binary so your b3 will be equal to g3 that is my first gray code bit my b2 will be equal to b3 xor g2 that is 0 xor 1 is equal to 1 now your b1 will be equal to go back to the b2 xor g1 1 xor 1 is equal to 0 Similarly, your b zero is equal to b one x or g zero. That is zero x or zero is equal to zero. So to explain you again, whenever a binary uh, code is given to you, convert into the gray code by saying that g three uh, b three b two b one b zero. In which your g three is equal to your b three, your g two is equal to b three x or b two, your B one your G one is equal to B two X or B one, and your G zero is equal to B one X or B zero. Hence, you get all these gray code values over here. Similarly, when a gray code is given to you, you have B three is equal to G three. Your B two is equal to B three X or G two. Your B one is equal to B two X or G one. And your B zero is equal to B one X or G zero, and try to find out the answer. Now finally, we are going to try to uh, take up two gate problems. One gate uh, from Electrical Engineering Branch 2014, and from Gate Electronics and Communication Branch 2014. So the question says, which of the following is an valid 8421 binary coded decimal? so what does 8421 binary coded decimal mean see a binary coded decimal in indicates that i'm going to convert my decimal into a binary value my decimal goes from 0 to 9 only from 0 to 9 each particular decimal can be converted into binary that means anything greater than 9 is not a valid bcd so if you see this is 4 this is 3 this is 9 But this is twelve. Since my BCD range comes from zero to nine, my D option is an invalid option. So very simple question to be solved. Next, the number of bytes required to represent decimal number one eight five six three five seven in PAC BCD is. Now, if you know, this was clearly told to you that in case of your bcd each particular digit is been encoded in the form of four bits so i have my this digits 1856357 okay so every particular digit will be split into four bits so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 So seven into four, twenty-eight bits are very, very, very important. Okay. So the number of bytes required to represent decimal number this in PAC BCD is what? So you have one eight five six three five seven. So every digit is encoded in the form of four bits. Since there are seven digits in this number, you have seven into four, twenty-eight. Digits a twenty-eight bits, because each digit is going to be represented by four bits. So you know one byte is equal to eight bits. Therefore, how many bytes will be equal to twenty-eight bits? It's going to be twenty-eight by two, fourteen by four, seven by two, 
and it is 3.5 bytes uh, approximately 4 bytes you can say okay so remember this thing whenever 8421 bcd code is given to you it will always be a bcd code that means binary coded decimal that means your 0 to 9 decimal will be converted into its binary form okay will be converted into its binary form from 0 to 9 which is a decimal number can be converted into its binary form but anything greater than 9 is not a valid bcd and hence d option is a correct option then similarly uh, each digit is been converted to 4 bits for 7 digits we have 28 bits 1 byte is equal to 8 bits how many byte is equal to 28 bits try to find out the answer it's 7 by 2 that is 4 bytes approximately so this is my topic the notes are present in the description box also so please do go through it if you like the video do not forget to like share subscribe to my youtube channel follow me on instagram thank you so much guys god bless you